Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to be uh, ranking the Monkees albums. Uh, the Monkees are a band that I love. I know they didn't start out as a real band. They were a fictional band in a TV show of the same name. But you know, they you know, they proved that they could play their own instruments, write their own songs. <coughs> but they were fantastic, you know, they were <coughs> You know they would have they were talented they were <clears throat> some some see them as just a uh, a rip off of the Beatles. I'd say they were inspired by the Beatles, but I wouldn't call them a Beatles rip off band. But obviously the Monkeys wouldn't have existed without the Beatles. You know they, the Monkeys TV series was inspired by the Hard Day's Night film and the Help film. <clears throat> So I'm not going to be ranking all the studio albums, I've only been ranking the first five studio albums, which are the only ones that I have. And they're, they're all on this set called uh, The Monkeys Original Album Series. This is their first five albums. So these are the albums that they did while they were doing the TV show. They did, they did loads more albums after this, but that was after they'd stopped doing the TV show. But yeah, I I like those albums. I've heard I've heard certain songs off of those later albums, and I I love the songs. But I haven't quite heard them all the way through yet. But I plan to. I do want to get those albums. You know, but they're, they're quite expensive on on Amazon and eBay though. I do know there's they did the soundtrack to the Head film. It was they did a film called Head, and they did a they had an album that that uh, accompanied it and I've heard you know I've, obviously I've heard that because I've seen the movie which I have on DVD but yeah CDs the later albums are really hard to find on DVD and so are these individually they're quite expensive to find on individual CDs but this set was just I got this for just £12 so yeah, this is the best way to get into the monkeys. Get this five five CD set. So yeah, I'm going to be ranking these five albums that I have, and I love all these albums. These are all fantastic albums. <clears throat> so even the one at the bottom of my list, it's still a fantastic album. So number five is <clears throat> the Birds, the Bees, and the Monkeys. So this is the last album in this uh, in this set. <clears throat> Quite an underrated album. There's great songs on here. Dream World is on here. Uh, you've got Daydream Believer on here, of course. Everyone knows that song. Uh, Valerie, which is another hit. Uh, Tapioca Tundra. It's a great Mike Nesmith song. And another good Mike Nesmith song on here. Writing Wrongs. That's a fantastic song. But yeah, it's a fantastic album. But... There are times it doesn't really feel like the monkeys are playing as a band on here. It just feels like uh, solo projects from each member of the band put together on one album. So it kind of feels like the Beatles' White Album. This is like the monkeys. This is like their version of the White Album. <clears throat> and this came out the same year as the White Album. This came out in nineteen sixty-eight. It's still a fantastic album, though. I love, I love pretty much every song on here. So. It just feels like they're individual solo projects, that's all. Number four is the amazing debut album. And of course, the Monkees didn't play the instruments on here, and they didn't write any of the songs on here. I mean, they sing the vocals <coughs> on on all of these songs, but they don't play the instruments on them. They have session musicians playing the instruments, and all the songs are written for them by other artists, but still fantastic songs and the session musicians did good jobs because <clears throat> they were great songs you've got the monkeys theme song on here which is the theme song of their tv show last train to clarksville one of my favorites <clears throat> i want to be free saturday's child take a giant step papa jeans blues which is a mike nesmith song sweet young thing great album Amazing debut album. Considering the monkeys don't play any of the instruments on here, it's it's a brilliant album. I love I love it. <clears throat> and number three is their second album, 
more of the monkeys, which I think is quite underrated, actually. Um, of course, this is kind of like a follow just a continuation of the first album. Uh, they don't play any of the... Uh, they don't play the instruments on here or write any of the songs, but <clears throat> yeah, they sing them so well. And the thing about this album, this this album was actually put together without <clears throat> without the monkeys actually knowing. They yeah, you know, they walk they walk past a, a window of a record shop and they saw it in there and <sighs> they were pissed off because they had no idea that this was being re that was being released. But yeah, the choke. But yeah. <clears throat> But the record company that put this together, great songs. You've got She, uh, I'm a Believer, I'm Not Your Stepping Stone, Look Out, Here Comes Tomorrow. And a lot of people don't like The Day We Fall In Love, which is it's really a spoken word track by Davy Jones. And a lot of people really, really hate that song, but I, I, I enjoy that track. Another one that a lot, a lot of people like to put down is... Your Auntie Griselda, which is a, which uh, has Peter Talk on lead vocals. I think it's a fun song. It's, you know, it's it's, it's humorous, but that's that's why I like it. And there's another one on here a lot of people hate called Laugh. <clears throat> you know, because it's a it's a really a novelty song, but it's it's good fun. I like it. I like I love it. <laughs> you know, I love every song on this album. It's it's great. That front cover looks a bit like the Beatles rubber sole, doesn't it? <coughs> now the top two. Number two is Headquarters. This is their third album, and this was the first album where they played the instruments themselves and wrote most most of the songs as well. So this is this is considered like their first proper album, their first proper monkeys album, because this is the album where yeah, they play everything on here. They play all the instruments. <clears throat> so Mickey Dolan plays drums on here. Uh, you've got Peter Talk on bass and uh, keyboards. Mike Nesmith plays his guitar on here. I think Davy Jones plays guitar as well, as well as his tambourine. And yeah, this is the album that really... Uh, this is when they really started to come into their own as a proper band. You got uh, <clears throat> forget that girl. You just may be the one. That's probably my favorite Mike Nesmith monkey song. Shades of Grey, I love that song. You told me, uh, for Pete's sake, Mr. Webster, Sunny Girlfriend, Randy Scouse Git, which was a song that they wrote about the Beatles. Because at this around this time, I think they met the Beatles. They were actually present in the studio when the Beatles were recording uh, Sergeant Pepper's. I think the song "Good Morning, Good Morning" on Sergeant Pepper. I think it. They actually, the Beatles actually let the Monkees use that song in an episode of of the, their TV show. <clears throat> and yeah, they banned this song, uh, Randy Scouse Skip, because it's considered offensive. I think that was its UK title, or <clears throat> but in America or something, I think it was called just Untitled. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a fantastic album there. My number one is the follow-up to Headquarters, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn and Jones Limited. Quite a long title. Try saying that when you're pissed. But yeah, this is their psychedelic album, if you'd like. <clears throat> and yeah, they also do play the instruments and write the songs on this album as well. And yeah, that artwork's very psychedelic. It's kind of like, um, I suppose it's kind of like Sergeant Pepper's, if you like. This came out in 1967, so the same year as Headquarters. And more of the Monkees also came out in 67 as well. So you got they released, they released three albums <clears throat> in one year. Amazing, eh? Yeah, you've got Pleasant Valley Sunday on here. Daily Nightly, which I love. That's very psychedelic. And one of the first uses of a Moog synthesizer. And yeah, it's very trippy. The synthesizer effect on there. It's the echo. It's just, it's just a very trippy song. <coughs> and Mickey Dolan's plays the synthesizer on that track. 
Uh, you've got Star Collector, which is another psychedelic track that also uses a synthesizer. Salesman. Love is Only Sleeping, which is also quite psychedelic. You know, there's some echo effects on there. This was the only time they ever really made a, a full psychedelic record. I mean, the head. I mean, on the head album, they had was kind of psychedelic as well. But that was a that was a movie soundtrack. <clears throat> but yeah, this is yeah some really trippy songs on here. Cuddly Toy is a great song. Yeah, I love this album. This is my favorite Monkeys album. So that's why I put it at number one. <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that ranking. And uh, eventually I will get all the other Monkeys albums as well. And in future I might do another ranking where I rank all of them. Because I think they've got 13 studio albums. Like the Beatles. The Beatles only have, they have 13 studio albums. And so do the Monkeys as well. But I might just, <clears throat> I might just buy 12 of them. Because one of their albums was a Christmas album, which... Yeah, you know, I might not. I'm. I might not get that really. Just because I'm not. I'm not really uh, big on Christmas music. Just not really my thing. So I probably won't buy that album. But all the others, yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my ranking of the the f five original Monkeys albums. And this is a good set. Um, this is the only uh, they. There's a lot of other bands where they released sets like this. I've got uh, there, there is this is the only one I have, but uh, the Hollies did one of these as well, which I'm, I might want to get that one because I do like the Hollies. And I think Traffic, the band Traffic, also released one like this, and I think ZZ Top released one as well. So yeah, I might <coughs> look at getting some of the others. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and. I'll see you, see you later.